Welcome back everyone, and Intel has just unveiled their latest process roadmap, which confirms the launch of their 10 nanometer node-based products in 2019 and introduction of their next-gen 7 nanometer node-based products in 2021. The company has not only revealed their process roadmap, but also unveiled actual product lines that will be based on the new process nodes. The new information comes from Intel's 2019 investor meeting webcast, during which Intel showed off their latest process node roadmap, which gives us a glimpse of their strategy for the future product lineups based on 10 nanometer and 7 nanometer process nodes. Starting off with the 10 nanometer family, Intel has clarified that their 10 nanometer process node can deliver some major enhancements to performance per watt when compared to the 14 nanometer plus plus architecture. The first iteration of 10 nanometer is shown to be a good leap in efficiency and Intel plans to provide enhanced variants of 10 nanometer moving forward with 10 nanometer plus planned for 2020 and 10 nanometer plus plus planned for 2021. Some of the major upgrades that 10 nanometer would deliver include 2.7x density scaling versus 14 nanometer, self-aligned quad patterning, contact over gate, cobalt interconnect, first gen Fogoros 3D stacking, and second gen EMIB. While we're talking about 10 nanometer, Intel has assured that their first 10 nanometer product, codename Ice Lake, is shipping in June. The first die shot of Ice Lake chip has also been released, showing off four cores, Gen 11 GPU, and more. The chip is expected to feature approximately 2x the graphics performance, 2.5 to 3x AI performance, 2x video encode, and 3x wireless speeds compared to existing Copy Lake refresh based processors. Intel's 10 nanometer wouldn't be restricted to just Ice Lake mobile platforms and Lakefield SOCs. The 10 nanometer node would be utilized in multiple products throughout 2019 and 2020, which includes Xeon CPUs for HPC, FPGAs, 5G and networking, interesting, general purpose GPUs, and AI inference. Intel also confirmed that they are expecting 14 nanometer supply issues to be fully resolved by Q4 2019. Intel has also confirmed that one of their key 14 nanometer plus products for 2020 would be the Tiger Lake, which is designed to feature new core architecture that succeeds Ice Lake's Sunny Cove core. We know from Intel's own CPU core roadmap that this is the core architecture would be known as Willow Cove and is expected to arrive in 2020, so Tiger Lake would be one of the key processor lineups using it. The Tiger Lake CPU would also be leveraging from Intel XE graphics engine, which will be a good upgrade over the Gen 11 graphics engine featured on the Ice Lake CPUs. Now Intel is claiming a 4x boost in performance over Whiskey Lake processors that feature the Gen 9.5 graphics chip. The Gen 11 graphics features a 2x performance increase over Gen 9.5. The Intel XE GPU would also allow for the latest display technologies and the CPU themselves would feature next gen IO capability. Overall, the CPUs would offer a 2.5 to 3x performance boost over Whiskey Lake processors in a 15 watt package. There is also a 9 watt variant for plus 2 config which delivers a 2x productivity boost over the 5 watt Amber Lake in a 2 plus 2 config. Encode performance would be boosted by around 4x while allowing encoding up to 8K at 60 FPS. At the same time as Intel introduces their 10 nanometer plus plus products, they will also have production and launch planned for their next generation 7 nanometer process node. Later in this video, we will note a major product that Intel has planned to launch on 7 nanometer process node by 2021. Intel would continue to offer their optimizations of the 7 nanometer process node with 7 nanometer plus in 2022 and 7 nanometer plus plus in 2023. Just like 10 nanometer, 7 nanometer would deliver a good list of enhancements over 10 nanometer, which would include 2x the density scaling compared to 10 nanometer, planned intranode optimizations, a 4x reduction in design rules using EUV and next generation Foveros and EMIB packaging. Intel has also unveiled their leading edge packaging process, which is both PC centric and data centric. This allows Intel to scale and package their chip architectures into various designs by utilizing their Foveros and EMIB interconnect technologies. 
Intel has also confirmed that the lead product for their 7 nanometer process node would be their XE GPU architecture based on general purpose graphics card lineup for data centers. The new XE architecture based GP GPU would be built using Foveros 3D packaging architecture which means we are going to see one chip single stacked chip harmony between GPU, memory and interconnect. This will allow high bandwidth memory to be stacked right on top of the GPU die, featuring a package size that is much smaller than existing GPUs, but at the same time denser than anything we've gotten so far. Intel has confirmed that their XE architecture based 7 nanometer graphics card would be introduced first on data center markets targeting AI and HPC workloads by 2021, which is also the shipping date of their 7 nanometer process node. While data centers would be the first to use 7 nanometer XE GPUs, Intel's 10 nanometer XE GPU lineup would be making its way to the mainstream and enthusiast gaming marketing in 2020. The first confirmed product to feature the 7 nanometer XE GPUs would be the Aurora Supercomputer. So that was quite a bit to digest, and if you'd like to mull it over a bit more, feel free to follow the link in the description below for the full article where we break it down even further. But do let us know your thoughts on any of this latest info from Intel. And as always, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.